want to see jaws right away. Shark food. About as far as you can go on Cape Cod. Got a security camera looking at you. We're in Lebanon, Connecticut. Lebanon, Connecticut was incorporated in 1700. So this is the Mystic River, an historic downtown seaport of Mystic. This is actually a state park. It's called Valley Railroad. <laughs> Party people, we're at Liberty State Park. We're about to go to uh, see if we can get a ticket for the ferry over to uh, Ellis Island. That's supposed to be old train facility. There are many ways to enjoy the Statue of Liberty. There's a the layout of the park. Where's the you are here? Right here. It's called Liberty Walk. I think we get tickets around here somewhere. That's some kind of steel beam for the building. This is a 9 11 memorial here. One of them. Jersey. Empty sky. 9-11 memorial. I'm guessing that's what those steel girders are there, part of the one world, part of the uh, Twin Towers. There's a lot of people that lost their lives that day. It's very reflective in here. The sun hits it. It's, you can see this, the sun ring there. We're going to be getting on that. We just came out of the memorial there. Twenty Century Lady Green. Blue Comet was a brainchild of CNJ President Roy White. He wanted to introduce a train line which offered deluxe accommodations at reasonable prices. All the cars were named for famous com comets: Haley, DeVicchio, Yellow, the model. at Black Tom Island. July 30th, 1916, agents of the German government blew up the munitions depot on Black Tom Island. Wow. It was World War I. Forget about that. Find the two spires on top to the left. My left. Count one, two, and then that third thing. That's that, that's the top of the Statue of Liberty. You can just barely see it peeking over. All right, we're on the ferry, on the top floor. Empire State Building. Statue of Liberty just peeking over the island. Together at all times. Ellis Island is a wheelchair accessible facility. Alrighty. I get the Ellis. Definitely some uh, kind of European inspired buildings, wouldn't it? Let's walk up these stairs here. I need to find me a restroom. This is the registry room. Very uh, intricate detail work. U.S. Public Health is responsible for the medical inspection and treatment of over 12 million airway total. Six second specialist. That's the hospital buildings over there. Hospital buildings? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's where you were saying if you had something. I'm sure they had crazy people and all people with children. Pregnant women coming over. Who knows? Let's go in there and see what's going on. The line, <laughs> just, just the line standing in line. It's gonna probably drive you nuts all day. Look at that picture. Old kids carrying chest. Commissioner Robert Watchorn reports the last arrival statistics to Uncle Sam in his evening world cartoon, April 17, 1906. Numbers continued to escalate into 1907, the busiest year at Ellis Island with over one million arrivals. Geez, one year, one million arrivals. The U.S. Public Health Service had only six seconds sometimes to scan each immigrant and tell what was going on. 60 health conditions to look for. Anemia, varicose veins. Wow. 
First and second class passengers were examined aboard steamship. Steering steerage passengers were ferried to Ellis Island. Got on the island, scanned, legal inspection, then admission. Sick were taken to Ellis Island Hospital for observation and care. Once they recovered, they could proceed with their legal inspection. Yeah. Literacy test. Don't touch this. this. Anti-immigration forces have been trying to impose a literary test. A literacy test since the 1880s as a means of restricting immigration. Finally succeeded with the Immigration Act of 1917. Passed over with a Wilkins veto. The law required all 16 years or older to read a 40-word passage in their native language. These dual language cards were used by inspectors to test literacy. Wow. Look at the various people. All over. The only expense I had was one dollar. The food vendor sold you a big packet. A paper carton of sandwiches, ham and cheese, oranges, bananas, and apples, and a piece of pie. That all came for one dollar, so that would help you well for 31 hours. By the time I got to Indiana to the farm, I had finished it up. Wow. Once their travel plans were settled, they took their barges or ferries to railroad terminals in Jersey City or Hoboken. Immigrants to New York City took the ferry to, uh, to the Battery, where they found, usually found a great crowd of relatives, friends, and baggage carriers. This is where he did the currency exchange. We get all different denominations from all different countries trading in for a U.S. dollar. <laughs> There's a mix-up. They shipped the wives to the wrong. They, they swapped the wives. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Southern Pacific Railroad, Baltimore, Ohio. A lot of train schedules, man. Yeah. Give them a little mental test. Standardized intelligence test, such as the steamship program. He also developed new tests to account for immigrants' cultural backgrounds and education. Measure immigrants' intelligence. Immigrants who did not know English were easy prey for unscrupulous labor brokers who offered to find work for their newly arrived countrymen. Once an immigrant had agreed to take a job here, she was often exploited, forced to work under dangerous conditions. Immigrants. Immigrant aid societies try to protect new arrivals from these predators who crowd the battery looking for recruits. Various reasons for detention. Two have medical stamps, but most of the others relate to a lack of funds or railroad tickets. The initials SILTC special inquiry is likely to become a public charge means that the immigrant in question had to convince a board of special inquiry of his or her ability to earn a living and stay off the public dole. Warm milk for the kids. Kosher, ki kosher kitchen for the Jewish. Dual reputation among, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, all the tears. Many families were united for the unfortunate 2% of arrivals who were excluded and sent back to their points of embarkation. Ellis Island was a bitter isle of tears. The 2% may sound insignificant. Sometimes it translated into over 1,000 exclusions a month, yeah. Yeah, I guess if you got denied, you had a long trip back home. After Ellis Island closed in 1954, the interior walls gradually shed their many layers of paint, revealing surfaces covered with signatures, inscriptions, and drawings. Immigrants who committed a crime applied for public assistance, were contract laborers, or advocates. Cases of subversive politics could be reported to federal authorities and sent home and even deported. Let me go see that Statue of Liberty. I bet you don't even know how to hunt for fish. Do you? Hey, I'm talking to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't walk away from me.
Liberty Island. And that's where the memorial is over there. We'll go to that. And that's where we just came from, Ellis Island. And we're parked over there in Jersey. Jersey. We're parked in Jersey over there on the other side of that island. Right, Pops? A little bit of a side view. It's on top of the remains of Fort Wood originally. One link in the chain of defense is protecting the U.S. cities by the harbor for the Bill 1808. Augustine Bartoldi. Bartoldi designed the Statue of Liberty French. Alright, we gotta go back to Ellis Island. We gotta go to Ellis first and then. Monument. It's got all of the servicemen, women. I used to work with these guys a lot. I'd be soft. 17th Street, she, yeah, State Street. You got a thing right here on the corner. We're on Broadway right now. Shadowy, so it's not a lot of uh, sun beaming down on you. Up in the street plaza, murals, 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 the murals, the murals. All the trade centers, all the trade centers are belong to us, and they're building five. There's your FDNY folks that lost their life. That's all the fire department members that lost their life during 9-11. 343. The city's bravest in memory of those who fell and those who carry on across all cities and towns across the generations to our fallen friend and partner, volunteer firefighter, Glenn J. Winnick. Holland and Knight, LLP. 343. Pops, let's cross the road. So this is the September 11th. There's a North Pool, or 9 9/11 memorial. So it's South Pool, North Pool. There's a museum in the middle. There's a survivor tree. All right, we're out at the reflecting pool for the 9/11 memorial. This is where one of the buildings were. This whole base right here. And the other building, they were called the Twin Towers, so the other building's over there. Thank you. 
sentiments exactly. She said the boat just left. Uh, all right, we're about to leave Manhattan and go back over to Ellis and then take a uh, Jersey boat back to the Liberty State Park. And we're gonna go hightail it home. This is the end of this trip. What's the day? Wednesday? So, 16 days we've been on the road. So, we've been on the road for 16 days traveling around the Northeast and Great Lakes, so we're gonna wrap this trip up.